here. Welcome, welcome. How exciting is this? Oh my goodness. It's crazy. I have set up a little space to go into the Ashlands from the Ravenheim Season 1 world. And I checked with Smithy and he said that my base is far enough away that I should be good to go. He wanted me to send the world file um, early this morning, but like time zones and different everything, I haven't sent them to him yet, but I think it's going to be fine. If not, we'll deal with it. <laughs> okay, so what was that? <gasps> What's happening? My world is falling. Smithy, you said it would be close enough. Far enough. What's happening? The ground. Look. It was not far enough away. Bye bye world. Bye bye house. Oh no. Can I? No, it's too late. I was gonna say, can I like go into God mode real quick and put something underneath it? But I'm not gonna have time. So here's what's ha what happens if you build too close to the Ashlands. I have a picture of what the world looked like before, how close it was, and we'll compare. This is where it says my shoreline is now. This was another base right here that was the edge of the Black Forest. This was Plains. This ash prep down here is the one I initially posted that was like down in the ground in a tip of ashlands that got uncovered accidentally earlier on. And that's going to be completely underwater. So let's compare how close I was. Okay, this is what it was before. This is where I'm at, ash base one. I was back from the coast and all of this was black forest plains and that was the tip of the ashlands that got uncovered and this is what it is now so yeah it went a, a little ways back it's it's still black forest here technically but the ground even in the black forest has sunk down so far that my base fell so if you have a base that you have created to get ready to go to ashlands that is anywhere near the edge, move it. <laughs>